that was my friend, man. That was my real dog, man. Y'all y'all saw me on the B, BH1 stuff, man. I'm mm-hmm. he was my real friend, man. Yeah. He, he was a real dope writer. He was a confused person because he let people change who he was because I knew him with Digital Underground back in the day. But, you know, the money mm-hmm. can change. And, um... I always say, don't ask for so too much money because it can kill you or somebody that want it. So Pac was one of those guys that, you know, everybody have one in their family uh, that'll take off. You can be in the supermarket. We can be anywhere. If somebody, if a girl or anybody in the family being mistreated, Pac will probably go over to, you know, we will probably do a lot because that's where his right. heart was at. Now, how, what he got out of it, is something that we all know is that you can't do stuff for people to gain friends. And and I don't think he was from out here and people was using him. And I saw it. There was nothing I yeah. could do. But Probably he's a did. dope, talented rapper that um, it, it, I, I bet you if Pac was alive right now and he sat down and did one of those those documentaries like that that um that Mike Tyson did. You remember the last one? When everybody yeah. find out everything, I guarantee everybody will, will be mad. I guarantee he didn't tell on nobody. Yeah. So what happens if Pac was a nigga that told, told on everybody years later, you'll be like, what? What? Just like, but now we love uh, Mike Tyson. I mean, we always love Mike Tyson, but we got closer to him on that, on, mm-hmm. on that documentary.